Hey guys, how you going? Campbell here. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today I just wanted to have a quick look at the St. John's Cathedral in New York City that has some very interesting features carved into some of its columns. Uh, and we're going to have a look at them. And the question is, like, how did these engravings get onto this cathedral? Was it somehow telling or trying to predict the future? <music> So this is the cathedral. It's in New York City, as I said. It's called the Unfinished Cathedral as well because uh, apparently it's not finished, right? They kept building on it. But if we look into the date, it says that the cathedral was constructed 1892. But like I said, they say that that's the beginning of construction. And as of now, they're saying it's still uh, unfinished. But 1892 is when, when the construction started on this cathedral. And the most interesting feature of this cathedral is one of these columns. Now, there's a couple of interesting columns, but this one here, and remember, they say this was started in the 1800s. The, I've had a look, and there's no dates for sort of what when they built which part. But when we look at the actual cathedral, it looks like it's an old building that they've found and have basically tried to reconstruct. But we have this on a column and this looks like New York City. And we have these two towers, right? Some might call them twins, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not sure if I can even explain what they are with the whole YouTube censorship, but Look at this. We've got the city full of skyscrapers and we have these two towers, which are clearly brutalism, right? The, you know, new and modern buildings, different to the older style buildings. And they look like those two towers, right? That may have fallen, shall we say, in New York City, which is quite interesting. We have this which could be waves or smoke up the top. And we've got all this stuff in the background, which looks like some kind of, you know, catastrophe. Let's just say that. And this, again, this cathedral started in the 1800s. And if we take a look here, at when was the first skyscraper built? It tells us that it was the home insurance building in Chicago. So not in New York City, in Chicago, opened in 1885, which is you know, basically around the same time, right? A couple of years before construction started on this cathedral. So how did they even know what a skyscraper was? You know, when we see pictures like this, and this carving clearly shows a built-out New York full of skyscrapers, right, in the 1800s. So what is going on here? Is this some kind of prophecy, some kind of prophetic carving you know like did they know it was coming or is this something maybe you know because we, we know they love to put ideas out there before they happen those who wish to control us the they thems they they love to put ideas out there and then we manifest them right so is that what this is all about but whichever way it is how is this possible that they could carve these columns in the 1890s or at least soon after because like i said it that it says when the construction started but it, it's called the unfinished cathedral uh, so there's no information as to when these actual columns were built or carved and then we have this other column now you can see these columns you know they're completely carved up here in this one you know we've got some old tartarian-esque buildings and people going around but when we come up here, it looks like we have a bridge and we are told that this is the Brooklyn Bridge. That's what most people are saying, that this is the Brooklyn Bridge. And what do we have coming off this bridge? That is a bus, right? That's a bus, a, a fairly modern bus. Down here, we have like a car, right? Falling into the water. So pretty, pretty weird right we've got buses modern buses modern cars 
the Brooklyn Bridge was there. It wasn't very old at this point, but it, it, it had been built a few years before. But buses like this, right, were not invented yet. And clearly, the skyline of New York City did not have buildings. It was not full of skyscrapers. So where did they get this picture from? They've literally drawn New York with all its buildings in, but apparently before New York looked like that. So what is going on here? And this is a website called Hidden Insight. And what it says is a dark vision in stone, ominous images, especially in a post 911 world, dominate carvings on the pillars south of the massive doors, the twin towers of the World Trade Center and other modern New York landmarks seem to burst into space under a mushroom cloud. So they're calling this a mushroom cloud. A bus tumbles off the Brooklyn Bridge, flying into the air above New York Stock Exchange. Looking backward with 2020 hindsight makes a carver look like a dark prophet. Okay, so again, how? How did the carver know what New York would look like, but especially the Twin Towers, they were built in the 70s, okay? And I'm pretty sure, like I said, that there's no information of exactly when this was carved because they, they say that they're still building it. So they haven't given dates of exactly when each part was built, but this is part of the main building. So, you know, we've got to assume that it was early 1900s at least, right? And look what we've got here. We've got the New York City skyline with the the towers and a catastrophe and they look like they're falling so does this building next to it so how is this even possible guys how is this possible so it's a little bit of a conundrum and you know today we have you know all this discussion about timelines you know changing timelines the mandela effect retroactive time uh, you know, the whole looking glass thing, you know, are they actually messing with time, with the past, with the future? It, it's, you know, it's a very, very interesting thing, isn't it? So I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And of course, short, share this video around if you find it interesting and get it uh, in front of more eyes. And thanks for spending some time with me. Please leave me a comment, like this video, of course, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now. Remember in the end, nobody wins unless everybody wins.